Hello humans, welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a simple showcase of my Steinax and how I use him in simple relaxing steel path survival runs. This video is like the others, a 20 minute steel path survival run and is there to simply showcase how the frame works on a basic level in these kinds of areas of the game and is just for funsies and steel essence at the end of the day. Steinax is a really dope frame. He is quite easy to get started with and use and hence I have been enjoying him a lot for the past couple of months. Ever since I started building him up and playing with him, he's now my go-to solo Netrasols runner and Archon runs frame. He works wonders and is very useful and very usable in my opinion. Steinax is very survivable with good support mechanics and a decent damaging ability with an amazing armor strip ability on his second skill. Dude is built well, handles well, and the simplicity and ease of mind I get from him while playing him makes him an easy choice for me to use for any content really. Since this is Steel Path, we need a way to survive, and a way to kill. Cyanax has solutions for both. His fourth ability with the Augment provides him a lot of overguard that is capable of making him very survivable in a lot of cases. It isn't the best but it works. In addition to that, his third ability grants you the ability to get into overshield by killing enemies and with its already great buff for energy regen. As for the damaging part, the fourth ability contributes to that by dealing a lot of slash damage and the second ability fully strips armor from enemies. I do rely on the Torrid more though for a lot of my damage as it's more potent and quicker to kill. But the fourth ability works wonders on its own to be honest for a solid while. So with the survivability and damage covered, all you have to do is shill and ensure both of them are doing their work. I use the epitaph as a secondary as it's my regular secondary weapon of choice for utility. And the glaive as a melee but I rarely use it. The pet I used was the smita because I love charm, charm go charm. And I love my cat so we love the smita around here. And generally. That is all for Steinex. He's very simple, easy to grasp, and as you can see, he's very nice. All my other Steinex vids use the exact same build too, for good reason. It works well. So hopefully you give Steinex a try. He really deserves it to be honest, especially with the dope skin he is getting. I mean, by the time this video releases, he actually got the skin. He looks dope as shit. I'm making a new video with him with that skin. But he really deserves it. Prime time to try the boy, you know? Just go try Steinax today, why not? Uh, the builds used will be at the end of the video, as per usual, or at the timestamp that will be shown in a bit. Thanks for watching and enjoy the gameplay, of course. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments down below if any need arises, and enjoy the gameplay.
drove all night to Phoenix just to blow 15 months red. She said I was the best. She said I was the best. I got annihilated in the end. One of your friends. I hoped it wouldn't send. I hoped it wouldn't send.
and this is the build for Steinex. It's the same as the one I showed in the video of the natural cells in the video earlier about him. It just works wonders and is straightforward. It has good strength, duration, and range with little care for efficiency basically. As for the torrid, it's a corrosive rat crit build that shreds. But of course, you can utilize any weapon you like as long as it can kill. The epitaph is for funsies as I mentioned earlier, it's just utility with cold procs and everything and viral. And so is the glaive. And my cat is the smita because cat rules. So that's all for the video, hopefully it inspired you to try Steinax more as he more than deserves it. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I will be answering all of them. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you will, I truly do appreciate it. Thanks for watching and bye bye.